Hello everyone and welcome back to my Destiny reaction series. My name is Tara if you don't know me and today we're reacting to the season of the Drifter. Um, immediately in this video I have no idea what we're looking at. It kind of looks like an awoken god or something if I'm gonna take a stab at it. I have no idea. Anyways, this is the season of the Drifter, so I'm really hoping it touches on the little threads that Cade left behind in Forsaken, which is the man with the golden gun, uh, the plan that would pull the Drifter out of hiding and put a target on his back, and all those loose ends that we have that haven't been uh, haven't been dealt with yet. So hopefully this covers all of that, and without further ado, let's get right into it. We stand at the precipice of history. What you do here changes the cosmic balance forever. You have made allies of dangerous beings, gods and god pretenders. How long before your company involves you in something you can't come back from? Those I serve have so much to learn from you. You are their greatest curiosity, the agent on whom all fates converge. The Dredgen presents a special prize to the Nine. The dredge is an anomaly, an elemental balance, a grand experiment. We remember his trial. Who was that? <laughs> they mentioned the nine, and I believe Mara mentioned the nine, and how frustratingly, like, it's about time indirect to you respect, little man. <laughs> Someone like you, I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. Is that you were work? always so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. What is... Wait, what? Is that taken? Oh boy. Easy. Easy now. Huh? The Drifter didn't summon that, did he? Their design Dredge. is very cool. Nah, not Hold anymore. On, I missed something. Dredgen. Dredgen. Nah, not anymore. It's Drifter now. You have proven yourself worthy. Accept this gift from the knife. A gift? What gift? <laughs> I like gifts. So he's taken on a new name. He had a past life. Only two others have transcended. Like Cade had said, if you follow through with the plan, it'll take you out of hiding and put a target on your back. But what does he have to do with the nine? Did their design. The first, an hourglass counting down with infinite patience. The second, a forgotten blade sharpened anew. And now, the dredgen. Visit us again. We wish for you to understand what we understand. For now, it is my purpose to speak to you and you alone. Oh, I desperately want to understand but what you understand. If you remain worthy. Hold up. You saw that damn card game? Uh, word of warning. Drifter bristles defensively when your ghost mentions that you experienced a vision from the Emissary of the Nine. He, too, is experiencing visions, and he wants... You to keep your distance. <laughs> if you've played Final Fantasy XIV, is this the echo? Was it the echo? <laughs> no, no, not good. They're giving you visions too. I'll say it straight. I got a bad habit of biting off more than I can chew. But hey, guys gotta eat. And the deal that got me the haul? Yeah, it just looks so damn tasty. But damn, they're reaching out to you. No, ma'am. You keep clear of that little blue psycho. 
Leave this to me. You see her again, you turn the other way, understand? Trust nothing you hear. Nothing about her was little when she came to us. Do you regret this? What? Judgment. I have more agency as an agent than I ever did wielding the light. You lost everything. Nothing that ever mattered. Uh, the ghost? Are they having a conversation with themselves? I would die for those I love. You don't understand. No. Oh, I'm so confused. The clever one is in peril. Is that Mara? No, she will manage. They will annihilate her. Then she will die as one of us, gladly. So this is Mara fighting her other battle, and she was working with the Nine, as I recall. Regret before the end. You don't know the meaning of that her word. Is turning. She will beg for death's release. You cannot kill what has already died. What does it want? You ask the same questions. You never listen. Why does it do this? He's afraid. Of death. Of everything. So it kills. He hates violence. He hates it so much that he'll murder anyone who tries to inflict it on him. Who is he? Oh, I'm so confused. What does it want? Power. Like you. No one is like her. We don't understand. She has agency like you wouldn't believe. She can leave this place. We can leave this tonight. Think bigger. She can leave this game. We what? Don't understand. Hang then on. I'm afraid it's impossible to explain. She can leave this game. Are they are they talking about like the guardian in that moment? And being super meta <laughs> and establishing that this is a video game, or am I reading too much into that? Sorry, I just... I really miss him. Yeah, me too. How did you say you knew each other again? Oh, we, uh... Namchi and me were, were buddies. Men a little dive on series. Used to play cards. He talked about you a lot. Said the Queen trusts you to talk to the Nine for her. <laughs> that true? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Doesn't seem important anymore. Yeah. Well, you ever need a shoulder to cry on? I'm here for you. Aww. Wait, Drifter actually a good guy? I'm leaving. I'm going to go find them. There is nothing out there for you, Orin. Orin. Please don't pretend you care. This is a courtesy, Dredgen. I don't use that name. Not anymore. Your friend Cam says otherwise. Hand to my heart, I'm not lying. I didn't catch that other name that was just dropped. Cam? You can't even hear yourself. Orin, please! I'm going, Wu Ming. This friendship, whatever you want to call it, it's over. Try not to get shot. Okay. Seems like he had feelings you want to for go back to a thousand years of the Traveler's Dogma, kid. Give up your freedom? Fine. And you do you. Definitely seemed like he had feelings for her. Hey, how you living, sister? What can old Drifter do for you today? Wanna play some Gambit? 
The Dredgen has visions. They disturb him. We know about those, huh? The ships. You the one causing them? Tell you right now, I don't appreciate what they say. The gift is showing you what you must see. It is your fate. No. I make my own choices. If that is what you want to believe. Freaking psycho. How long has he been seeing those ships, then? We have another truth to share with you. The Dredgen should have told you himself. But as always, fear keeps him from true potential. Be beer? Please, <laughs> beer keeps him. Open your mind. <laughs> Might just pull this scam off. And when the time comes, we'll finally be in the clear. Huh? Huh. Oh, <laughs> a horse. A so he, horse. He got pulled into the realm that we're in right now, where the nine okay. communicate. Okay. <laughs> we Hello. have enjoyed watching you. We came to say farewell. Oh. Our attention is required elsewhere. All right. Thanks for the memories, you lunatic. Anything else I can do for you? You're already doing it. Keep playing the game. Oh, the pyramid symbols in there. Of those ships. The night falls. Out there on the edge, your fate is a war unseen amid ruined fleets. Mm. Two women, feared, untrusted, forever at arm's length. Feared. Two women, feared, untrusted, forever at arm's length. Okay, two women. Here at home, your fate is a coin in the hand of a liar. The drifter's a liar. One man, afraid, untrustworthy, That's forever grasping. Oh, this feels like a riddle. Two women. I wonder if Mara's one of them on the edge of the galaxy. You must reckon with yourself. Maybe Can that you Orin see is the, the other. Path ahead? Do you know the shape of your tribe? Hey, hey, let's be straight with each other. The Drifter knows someone has been snooping into his affairs. He likes you, but he needs to trust you. So he's a simple question for you. Are you with him or against him? I know the Vanguard's watching me. Probably want you to snitch, am I right? Ah, <laughs> if you're considering, I get it. Old Drifter likes to play both sides too. But think about it. You stand with them, you're a dead woman walking. Gambit's pissed off a whole lot of dangerous people. You stand with me. I got your back. Trust. So what'll it be? So you could turn your back on the Vanguard and join him here? Looks like, yeah, choose where your loyalties lie. There's two options there. Turn your back on the Vanguard. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Hang on. So what'll it be? Turn your back on the Vanguard to stand with the Drifter. This character will experience different quest content. Oh, that's so cool. What? Different quest content receive different rewards than characters who stand with the Vanguard. The Drifter will remember your choice. The character will not have uh, complete access to the Warlock Honor lore book. This choice may impact future content for this character. That's so sick. <laughs> Just stand with the Drifter. Please you got your grid, kid. He rewards your loyalty with a request. I admire a woman willing to risk the trust of everyone who's ever been kind to her. But let me set the record straight. You're choosing to walk with a monster. Mm. Monsters survive. Trust. People change. Priorities change. Stick with me, and you'll see that. Mm. Now, as a symbol of our new partnership, I need a favor from you. 
Got a shipment waiting in the tangled shore. Pick it up for me. I'll tell Spider you're coming. He's what also part of the spider. I guess that makes sense. Honor Among Thieves. The storied hero of the Red War, the rumored prince killer, working as a mule for the likes of the Drifter, Spider says. My, my, how the mighty fall. I hope you know everything about your new friend's enemies, which we don't. There's a pregnant pause. You did ask him about all that, didn't you? You say nothing as you reach casually to check the position of the heavy weapon slung across your back. Recognizing the subtle threat, Spider sobers. Well, have a look at my wares then. The bits. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that? What was that? A live ghost held in an anti-transmat cage? He pleads for release? What? Different coordinates, keys to the personal quarters of a certain executor. It's not what it sounds like. A lion. <laughs> I approve. Okay, sister, this will be a cakewalk. You just picking up a stash. Clear out the area. I got Vanguard snitches breathing down my neck. We don't need anybody following you. Patching you the XYZ to the pickup site now. You're looking for a big pile of salvage. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. You're close. It's just around the corner. Uh, Transmat's down. Maybe the beacon's busted. Uh, tell you what. Fallen crews around here jack Vanguard gear all the time. See if you can find a spare beacon. I, uh, got a call coming through that I gotta take. I think Area's I would clean. have, That's personally, I think I would have sided with the Drifter just for the mystery of it all, but I I really don't trust him. <laughs> Get back to that stash so I can send it over. Hey, Transmat's coming through the line. A little spider just told me Shin Mouth has been spotted in the EDZ. Remember him? Famous renegade, golden gun, mad on for revenge. EDZ. What was his Remember name? Shin Shin Mal oh, Spider just told me. Is the Shin golden Mal gun owner? Spotted in the EDZ. Remember him? Famous renegade, golden gun, mad on for revenge. He and I had an arrangement. The EDZ was not part of that arrangement. Hmm. Come on back to base. We gotta regroup. How you living, sister? Ooh. Really pisses me off when people break their word, Drifter says. The man with the golden gun was set to leave this system to me. Resume this, uh, resume his hunt for the shadows of yore beyond the borders of Vanguard authority. But he's back without prompting, and he's killed associates of mine. Associates like you, light bearers. Might be the Vanguard's decided I've outlived my welcome. Brought the man back in to cut ties, and they're starting with my rank and file. Might be he's waiting to burn us down last, or could be he's working with that praxic rat uh, honor? Uh, owner? <laughs> Everywhere she goes, some something dies in a fire. A pause. You know what? I don't care what's going on down there. I need you to make a statement. Get into the crucible and sow some discord. I'll pay you for every guardian you drop. No, really. Let me hear him scream. Hey, kid. Okay. Looking good. As my new partner, a couple things about me you should know. I've been pitting a lot of very bad people against some good ones. And why? Could end up being trouble for the city. And there's already been some collateral damage. Okay, and on my heart, I regret anyone who takes a dirt nap on account of me. But I didn't survive by being indecisive. Through every age and era, Drifter's done what he had to. The Warlords and the Iron Lords taught me that the light is no gift. It brought hell to Earth. And when we begged to die, it said hell no. Huh. They say the Dark Age was untold suffering. I could tell you a lot. How long has the Drifter lived? He looked like a normal human. Yeah, maybe next time. Go find the other tapes. I made you tapes. He made us tapes? How romantic. You've How romantic been my crew for of him. 
The drifter is jittery, but earnest as he tells you that he's come to think of you as a friend, one of his only friends at that. To that end, the awkward tape he left you in the derelict, is, did he seriously make us a mixtape? <laughs> in the first, uh, a series of tapes that are supposed to impart words of wisdom from the ultimate prepper himself. Sister, Gambit, Prime, all the good work. And against my better judgment, I trust you. Just a little. Just a little. But if you're gonna keep hanging with old Drifter, there's some things you should know. I've prepared a little survival guide for you, from the ultimate prepper himself. <laughs> That's me. Step That's one, me. get your ass to Europe. Dark Age was different times. We had no city. <laughs> War <laughs> Hang on, I need to get the giggles out. <laughs> the, the thing just coming around the corner to poke in and then leaving. <laughs> Lords and Iron Lords tore up the whole world trying to prove who was better. What was worth fighting for. I was busy trying not to starve. You ever go hungry till you keeled over? We did that a lot in the Dark Age. Our ghosts would bring us back. Still hungry. Really pissed me off. That's There's one dark. time I found a village to hide out in. Wait. I need to absorb that again. You ever go hungry till you keeled over? We did that a lot in the Dark Age. Our ghosts would bring us back still hungry. That is so dark, dude. I mean, it's the Dark Age. They would literally starve to death, but their ghosts wouldn't allow them to die. That's holy. Really pissed me off. There's one time I found a village to hide out in. A bunch of huts, really. Good people. They gave me work, and I kept my light a secret while I performed some minor miracles. Then the Iron Lords rolled into town. My ghosts stayed out of sight, and they were none the wiser. They cut a deal with us as if we had a choice. Paid us to let them hide out till some warlords showed up, then ambushed them. But we all got caught in the crossfire. My neighbor's kid told me something that still bounces around my head to this day. Right before the light went out in her tiny eyes, she whispered, I can't feel anything. Yeah. I couldn't either. That's all I got. Cut the tape. <sighs> Holy crap. That came out of nowhere. Oh my lord. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I need to collect myself. That was a lot. Okay. Hey, oh, kid. It's me, the Drifter. And this is How to Drift, Part 3. Never trust your ghost. He's a tool. Holy a crap, I can't get over that last line. No wonder he hates ghosts and thinks the Traveler's a curse. Holy crap, is this man okay? He needs a hug. Connection to the light. Not a friend. Not in any way that counts. You think he's saving your hide, bringing you back? He's saving his own. I don't care what your guardian dogma says. I don't care what your little buddy has told you. We don't know what ghosts are. They sound friendly, That's right? Fair. But I met some ghosts in the Dark Age. Would kill you for a blue ingram and spit on your grave. Oh, also, they could grow their light a little more. Make a stronger connection to the Traveler. Whatever the hell that means. You're an idiot if you think those ghosts aren't still around. Take mine, for example. Really creeps me out. Cut the tape, ghost, and don't give me that look. You know where we stand. Wow. Wow, so some of those... Dark twisted ghosts me, are still around. You need to know about the shadows. Wow, of dude, I misjudged the drifter. Uh, clearly, I lacked critical information. This is like, like a newfound appreciation of him for me. No wonder he's so, like, watch his own back. You know, like take care of himself because he's literally been through hell. 
They follow the edicts of a very bad man named Dredgen Yor. And what are his shadows after? Everything Dredgen. the light can't provide. I thought they could help me find an answer to the battles of light versus light that raged during the Dark Age. The longer I flew with them, the more I saw they're blind as all those who follow the Traveler. One albatross for another. I was done with them. And that title I gave out, Dredgen, I did it to piss them off. Draw the shadows out where I could see them. Worked mm -hmm. like a charm. I love all you little guardians. You're so forthright, so eager to please. That make you angry? Good. Use it. Wow. You can't be the drifter's partner and not know about Shin Malfa. Good, I do. The man know about with him. the golden gun is still out there. He's a hero. The stuff of legend. So why is Naturally, he killing people? Naturally, he's after my ghost. He wouldn't be the first, but everyone and their grandma has a malfeasance hand cannon by now. I think we're okay if Mr. Malfa ever shows his face. He follows the light like a zealot, and he ends all those who would consort with the dark because of one man who went rogue. It's not his golden gun you should be afraid of, kid. One man who went rogue, is he talking about the drifter or someone else perhaps? It's his idea. That one man can decide he makes the rules, and when you cross him, he can take everything from you. Doesn't sit right with me. Never will. That's fair. Mighty kind of the Vanguard to let me sleep in the Annex. Doesn't get cold down there? Much? Do I trust them for it? Hell no. <laughs> They're getting people killed just like the Iron Lords. Yes, people. Like you and me. Just because we got the light doesn't mean- I just need to confirm my, for myself. Almost all the Iron Lords are dead to- it was called SIVA, right? It's been a minute since I since I watched that part from- I think it was Destiny 1, if I'm not mistaken. We ever stop being there? I think so, I think so. Yeah, there's just the one Saladin? The Paladin? Is that right? <laughs> Don't let them tell you otherwise. And that mission statement of theirs? Protecting the city? Yeah, humanity's done, kid. You can't save them. I don't Even blame if you could for wrap a like ward of dawn around this whole town, they'd start dying all on their own. Every single one you save becomes just a memory. I don't need any more of those. You'll get there. You'll see. Is Drifter's whole angle like the curse of immortality and that getting close to anyone? just means that they die and he has to remember the fact that they're gone and has to live through that so he doesn't get oh my god the drifter's image is coming so much clearer into picture for me i what thought the city there? had made you all soft but there's this hardliner a warlock named anor i'm pretty sure she's trying to kill me she crashed a handoff between me and the shadows of yore in midtown my uh, buddies took a hostage, and she took out a city block getting them back. Some people didn't make it out. <laughs> How's that for hypocrisy? She jumped the shark on that one. I would have talked them down. No one had to get hurt. I hope the Vanguard are happy. I heard word from hunter dens across the city. This honor has been building a crew to look into me in the shadows. Mm. Bunch of clowns. One of them is this guardian, a hero of the Red War, just like you. One of Cade's friends, just like you. A gambit regular, except they're a snitch. Have been all this time. I don't mind. As long as they keep bringing moats, we're square. You watch your back out there, partner. Your friends might not be what they seem. One of Cade's friends. And they're a guardian. Hey, I, can't, I can't think of them. You made it to the last part of my little seminar. <laughs> you caught me without much else to say. Already talked your ear off. It was enlightening. But I guess there is one thing. I want you to know that you're the closest thing to a wheel horse I've had in oh a thousand years. A thousand years. I can years. see you making that face like you just He's at least a thousand years old. Oh my god, no wonder he's so jaded.
<sighs> Swallowed some scorn blood. Wheel horse is an expression, kid. It's dark age for we're tight. That's what you kids say, right? So here's something I never had the chance to tell anyone else on account of they're dead or trying to kill me. Don't give in to hope. That gets you killed. Take every day as it is. Trade your jump ship for a long-range hauler and see the universe while you can. I want the best for you, kid. And you won't find that in this system. Speaking of which, the Collapse wasn't the last extinction-level event to hit humanity. Old Drift has seen another one coming. Everything I'm building in the Nine Realms the ships, is preparation. The pyramids. There's a few seats I'm saving. One of them is for you. If you want it. Man. We understand each other a little better now. Huh? That's an understatement. I feel like I really understand the Drifter's character. Dude, I'm sorry. I misjudged you. <laughs> The Drifter seems relieved that you're still willing to talk to him after you heard everything he has to say. I like that he did it in recordings. It kind of shows that it's stuff that he struggles to talk about and he wouldn't want to talk about it in person with somebody. As far as Drifter's concerned, the two of you are part of a crew now. If anyone else, or if anyone crosses either one of you, and they likely will, given Drifter's extensive list of enemies, he's got your back and you've got his. Oh, kid. Just be wow, careful. I really like seems him. Seems everyone who knows me is either trying to kill me or <laughs> dead. A lot of people coming for my ghost. You're sticking your neck out by getting so chummy with me. But hey, if that day comes, they'll eat bullets from both of us. Hell yeah. Trust. Dude, I really like him. You're picking the Vanguard over me. Oh, oh, they're showing both sides. Defy the Drifter to stand with the Vanguard. You're picking the Vanguard over me, huh? Grudgingly respects your integrity, but this will change how he views you. You punk. You punk. But every man's gotta have a code. I get it. I got one too. Out of respect for principles, and a righteous fear of Ikora's big ass shotgun. <laughs> you do you, kid. But I'm gonna change your mind about me. Whoever or whatever you think I am, you're wrong. I was wrong. How's that suit you? I was wrong Snitch. completely. Snitch! <laughs> oh man, I really liked seeing his side because he's absolutely right. Whoever or whatever th we think he is, we're wrong. I was absolutely wrong in the way that I was feeling about him. He got the deep, depressing lore. Drifter's telling someone to rendezvous with Spider. The investigation. Don't see what you're looking for, my friend, Spider asks, growing impatient. Did your friend not tell you? When you pick up for the Drifter, you use the code words. You do not. You hold up your hand. Ghost transmits a Vanguard token into your waiting fingers. The message is clear. You stand with the Vanguard, not the Drifter. Spider backpedals. Now, now, my friend, I'm sure you can understand my position. Times are lean here on the shore, and I'm but a simple businessman. I'll deal with anyone who comes through my door. If my business with the Drifter offends you so much, I would be pleased to cut off all relations with him for the right price. Very good. Message from Honor. We did Seven. not expect your friend Anor. Her investigation is wise. A trial. Together you will render judgment. We admire your but this is bigger than the dredgen, bigger than even you. Visit us in due time. We will help you find the truths you seek. I wonder when these pyramids are finally going to arrive. Because they were really like on the outer edge of like where the Traveler's Explosion reached, right? And it like woke them up. A little spider told me you're looking for dirt on the Drifter. I didn't want to believe it, but here you are. Running around the arcology. What do you think you're gonna find? My master plan? A diary, maybe? <laughs> this world hey, feels bad. Tasty. Give it a little nibble for me, brother. Or is it a crime to be hungry, too? Damn. Is it a crime to be hungry? Hurts. Dude, is it a crime to be hungry? Hurts after knowing what we know. What'd you get out of all this, huh? 
A fistful of high brass and a whole lot of nothing. But you're not stupid. Neither is your praxic friend. So why'd you do it, kid? This rope feels Here's horrible. You and your warlock friend are fixing to break my deal with the Vanguard. You sick the shit on the EDZ. You sick the nine on me. I see you coming. Word of advice. If you're planning to take a shot at me, you best not miss. Surveillance data. Bomb threat. Whoa. As my new partner, a couple things about me, you should- The dialogue is the same, so in the interest of no. time- Okay, so you do end up learning after you're a piece of shit to him. You do end up learning the same, or similar things. So there you have it, snitch. Not- The investigation. The drifter remains as distant and standoffish as ever. He will not forget that you chose not to trust him. You regret nothing. Oh, I regret everything. Are you kidding me? I would have been so depressed if this was the route I got. Uh, despite everything, though, you realize that he was right. He wasn't what you thought. He's someone, something else. A fearful, scrabbling scavenger running from specters of death. He's below your concern, but he may not yet be below your sense of duty. Gonna hide what I've done, but I'm not bragging either. Just trying to stay alive the best way I know how. You go tell your heroes. Hope they got the dirt they were looking for. Just know that there's too much at stake. You ain't stopping me. Many have tried. They're, uh... Well, they're dead now. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I did not like that route compared well, to the other one. Well, look at you. You've been collecting names. The Reckoner. Drifter respects the way you've continued to make yourself notorious. You have no fear of declaring who and what you are. You've reckoned with yourself. That kind of confidence can get you killed. Oops. Building a reputation. Your legend keeps growing. The Nine. The Shadows of Yore. Shin Malfer. I keep tabs and they're all talking about you. Mm -hmm. Everything you touch changes. And some folks hate change. You watch your back, Reckoner. Dang. Did you kill Prince Udu? I don't really care, but everyone's asking. Gotta blend in. We don't. We didn't get the answer, did we? We don't know if it was us or Petra that ended up killing Prince Udu, as he as he so eloquently said. Okay, dude. Season of the Drifter. This was actually incredible. I loved this. I had such a different image of who the Drifter was. I mean, you could watch back. I don't remember how many episodes ago it was, but I was like, I don't like him. He's like Cade without the fun, but it's because the man is absolutely fucking traumatized from a thousand years of starving to death and watching everyone around him die. So he doesn't want to form connections. This was great. This was great. We got a few answers. We know who the man with the golden gun is, Shin Malfer. We're not sure entirely why he wants to kill the drifter. Um, we got we got some more answers about the nine who Mara was dealing with. They left so much cryptic information that I have no idea what's going on there. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones for me. Um, and dude, I love the Drifter. I love the Drifter. Dude, what a great character. I just want to give him a big hug. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing for the rest of my Destiny journey. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.